Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2018 here in Durban, South Africa, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today, Mr. Bokar Bar, who is CEO of Sabina Telecommunications Council. Bokar, welcome to the studio. Good to see you. Thank you very much for receiving me. It's my pleasure. Now, I'd like to start off by talking a little bit about smart digital development, which is the theme for this year's Telecom World. What does it mean to you and what does it mean to Sabina? I would define smart digital development not as a destination or a, as a current state of play. I, I would see it as a, as a strategy. What does it mean as a strategy? Uh, it has to be perceived as a very meaningful way to achieve our sustainable development goals by being very inclusive, not only of the population, but also all the other industries. So it's a smart way to use digital technologies for having a better life. This is basically for me the concept of smart digital development. Therefore, that's something that we are going through and it will never stop. How do you think the digital innovation ecosystems can create an enabling environment for the, the fourth industrial revolution, as it's being called? Well. It's here, the fourth industrial revolution, and what we've been talking about for over the past years now has to be realized. And this is an opportunity for us. And I believe the starting point will be, as I used to say, the collaboration, but the effectiveness of the collaboration. Today, for this to happen, we need to have connectivity as, let's say, the first pillar for this digital development. And of course, when I'm talking about cooperation, that connectivity that will be provided by the, service, uh, by the service providers and the telecom companies, we need on top of that cooperation between the different stakeholders. Now the stakeholders are becoming wider, not only the traditional one, such as government regulators and policy makers, not only with the academia, but also with the other industries. And we have to be inclusive of the population because the fourth industrial revolution is always enhancing the development, uplifting the society. Hence, we need to have the feedback of the consumer and the population. So it is becoming wider and wider. Now, we've got lots of new and exciting things such as AI, the Internet of Things. What are the main security risks associated with these new technologies? We are going to discuss about some issues, especially related when we talk about uh, AI, artificial intelligence, security, and the foundation of the security, because that will be driven by algorithm, and there is no way we can regulate a code, but we need to associate what have been achieved today through the GDPR, and work on standardizing the algorithm that will be the foundation of artificial intelligence. Therefore, we have to be very careful and cautious about the way we want to bring in our society artificial intelligence because it has to serve the humanity, not to harm the humanity. You mentioned GDPR, but is that really a solution? I mean, a lot of people just clicking OK, OK, OK nowadays. But is it really, is it really helping them? It's, it's a beginning of a solution. Basically, the way that we see the GDPR, it's, it's, it's an environment, it's a framework. Now, throughout this environment and framework, it provides some guidance, it provides a minimum of safety for the consumer, but we still have a lot of work to do. But um, we are very lucky that today we came up now with something concrete, GDPR, but it's the first step we have to move forward. Absolutely. And in terms of uh, cross-sector partnerships in stimulating digital development, what's the role of that? What's, what's the role of cross-sector partnerships in that? It's important, this partnership. It's, it's mandatory, it's needed, because we must have some use case. And we can only have use case if the different industries work together. So, as we used to say, ICT is a layer. Now, inclusiveness of the other industries is to ensure that through the technology we can be effective on agriculture, we can be effective in health, in education. Therefore, these industries, we need to work together not only in terms of regulation, the convergence of regulation, but the convergence of the industries. We had this morning an interesting talk about industrialization. We have the, in, the, the, the manufacturing industry 
coming and joining hand together with the ICT industry. That's one example. But we have many use cases in the sector of agriculture and all the others that I have listed. So basically this is, as I said, it's an opportunity for us to start implementing what we've been talking about. Then we start getting into the fourth industrial revolution. I see the uh, uh, Sustainable Development Goals uh, logo here on your lapel. What's your vision, what's your uh, perspective on ICT's four SDGs? This is the, the 17 SDGs defined by the United Nations. This is where we want to head to. So the good thing about that is we all agree. I have not come across anyone saying that I do not want to fulfill or to achieve the SDG objective. So it helps us. It's a target. Therefore, with all our differences, and I'm talking about the stakeholders, there is one good thing is we are trying to reach the same objective. And one of the SDGs this morning was the SDG number nine, but we have many others. And I believe it uh, gives us direction where we have to head to and it avoids uh, um, having some uh, unnecessary debates and we remain aligned between the different stakeholders. So the SDGs are very important. And ICTs for SDGs, the link between the two, how strong is that? It's very strong. And uh, today, again, this is a global partnership that is, that is needed. And when I'm saying really global partnership, it has to serve the humanity. It has to give us a better life. And until we include the population, the three billion who are not connected, until we stimulate the demand, until we ensure that there is a use for them, we would not be able to achieve it. So this is uh, the way we foresee it. Now you're taking the time to, and, uh, um, and the investment to be here. I just wanted to find out what's the value of attending ITU Telecom World for you? For me, of course, it's always a pleasure to see most of the leaders to come and exchange ideas, but something is very important. ITU is the platform where everybody is converging. And congratulations on the, orga in, on the organization of this uh, telecom world in Durban. Uh, I have seen during these two, three past days uh, various profile of people, government, student, civil society, professors, doctors, and we are uh, moving forward by listening to those people, and it's a platform, a forum where everybody can, 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 uh, can, can come and talk, uh, discuss, bring in some ideas, share their experience, knowledge. So this is exactly what we need when we talk about collaboration and, uh, and exchanging ideas. Well, it's been a pleasure listening to you. Pogba, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much for the invitation. Thank you.